This video will cover the operation of Carrier Transicold's new Apex control system and most of the functions that a driver would use during normal, daily operation of the refrigeration unit. To start, let's review the basic features of the Apex controller. The design of the controller is simple to navigate and easy to read to help assure error-free operation. Located at the bottom right is the Start Run Off switch for turning the unit on and off. The Apex LCD display screen features a large, bright graphical dashboard that provides important performance information. In the center of the screen, the box temperature and set point are displayed. Multiple compartment settings may be displayed during multi-temp applications. At the top, the status bar provides the unit's modes of operation. Across the bottom is the message center, which provides status of operation and driver and technician messaging. Moving to the keys, the blue driver keys simplify controlling the desired operation of the unit for drivers and navigate the menu choices displayed on the LCD display screen. The start, stop and continuous run key allows drivers to toggle between start, stop and continuous run operation. The manual defrost key may be used to initiate a defrost cycle when the defrost termination sensor is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.4 degrees Celsius. The up and down arrow keys allow drivers to change the temperature set point and scroll through the menu choices. The equal key is used to confirm and enter a new set point or menu choice and lock it into the memory. The Apex menu system functions just like an ATM machine. Pressing the menu key displays the various soft key choices in the message center. The choices offered are dependent on the controller configuration. Pressing any of the four black soft keys displays the desired menu choice and allows further scrolling and selections using the arrows and equal keys. The alarm key allows viewing of the alarms stored in the system. And the USB port is used to download data and install software and settings. It is important to replace the cap when the USB port is not in use. Now let's take a closer look at the operation of these functions. To start the unit, place the Start Run Off switch in the Start Run position. The LCD will light and the Carrier Transicold logo will appear on the LCD display screen, followed by the main screen that displays box temperature and set point. The alarm light will also flash during startup. Status of operation is across the top of the screen and the message center across the bottom. The message center will display the status messages such as total hours of operation, switch on hours, and system language. Status OK will appear and the engine will start automatically. If there are any active alarms in the alarm queue that prevent starting, an alarm message will be displayed in the message center and the alarm LED will flash. If an active alarm message appears in the message center, press the alarm key to view the alarms. The alarms will be displayed with an alarm number and name. Press the clear alarms key to clear the alarms. The unit will start automatically and an alarm history will be stored for later review by a technician. If any alarms reoccur or the unit shuts down, contact dispatch for further instructions. Depending on the specifications of the load you're carrying, it may be necessary to change the set point. To change the set point, press the up or down arrow keys to the desired set point temperature. To save the new set point, press the equal key. The message center will display set point changed. If the equal key is not pressed, the set point screen will flash and revert back to the original set point. The message center will display set point not changed. If you're in the multi-temp application and multiple compartments are displayed, the highlighted compartment set point can be changed as described previously. The Apex controller allows you to switch to either start-stop or continuous mode of operation depending on the product protection requirements of the load. To select the mode of operation, press the Start-Stop Continuous key until the desired operation is displayed and highlighted in the status bar. 
the message center will display the selected mode of operation for 10 seconds. The refrigeration unit is set up to defrost automatically with a programmable timer. However, the control system allows you to manually defrost the unit if the defrost termination sensor is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. To defrost the unit manually, press the defrost key. If the conditions for defrost are met, the status bar and the box temperature display will read defrost. The message center will display defrost cycle started for 10 seconds. If the conditions for defrost are not met, the message center will display cannot start defrost cycle for 5 seconds. Whenever a new load is being carried, it is always recommended that the unit is run through its pre-trip test. This step will ensure the unit is running properly and the load is safe and protected. To conduct a pre-trip test, press the menu key and then press the pre-trip soft key. Pressing the pre-trip soft key will display the available pre-trip menu choices. Use the up and down arrow keys to highlight the choice you want. Press the equal key to make your selection and start the pre-trip. The unit will conduct a series of mechanical and electrical component tests of the refrigeration unit. The test will run automatically and takes 7 to 15 minutes to complete. To end pre-trip at any time, press the Stop Pre-trip soft key. During pre-trip, the alarm light will illuminate throughout the test to indicate there is no temperature control. This is normal during this operation. A progress bar under the test description information shows the pre-trip routine's percentage of completion. Pre-trip passed will be displayed to indicate a successful test. Details of the test results can be viewed by pressing the test results key. If a problem is found in the pre-trip routine, the display will show pre-trip not completed and failed, and it will indicate the associated test number. Press the View Alarms key to review the alarm screen and see which alarms were activated during the test. In the event a problem occurs with the unit, you may be asked to provide unit data during a troubleshooting procedure. To view the unit data, press the Menu key and then press the Unit Data Soft key to display the engine, refrigeration sensors, and system unit data submenus. Press the down or up arrow keys to scroll through the available submenus. With the desired submenu data highlighted, press the equal key to view the detailed data information. Press the back key to return to the submenu selection screen or the exit key to return to the main screen. If your company uses carrier vector units, you will have the option to change the operating mode from diesel engine to electric standby or vice versa, depending on the application. The start, run, off switch and the electrical service breaker should always be in their off positions when plugging and unplugging the power cord to the refrigeration unit. Press the menu key until you see the message center menu option for standby. Press the Standby Soft key and then select either Diesel or Electric Standby mode by pressing the corresponding Soft key. The Message Center will display the mode of operation selected for 10 seconds. To stop the unit, simply place the Start Run Off switch in the Off position. The unit will shut down immediately while the control system completes a shutdown sequence prior to the LCD display turning off. If in electric standby mode, never disconnect the power cord until you have shut the unit off. We have now covered most of the functions that drivers need to operate the new Apex control system in order to properly operate their refrigeration unit and maintain a safe load every time. For more in-depth information on the other advanced modes of operation and features the Apex control system has to offer, please refer to the operation manual or contact your local carrier Transicold dealer.